They have tracked down the man who stabbed a woman to death in her driveway while her granddaughter was sitting in the car. Right now, that suspect is in the hospital. WBZ's Ken McLeod is live for us in Brockton tonight with a breaking update from investigators. Ken? David, authorities say tonight they have arrested 56-year-old Joao Correa for what happened out here this afternoon. One investigator tells me the suspect knew the victim because he used to date her. State police were still at the house on Crescent Street tonight after the suspect's arrest, snapping evidence pictures inside. <laughs> this afternoon, sobbing neighbors watched from across the street as police worked around a white SUV at the end of the driveway, and stunned family members stood disbelieving. We're still in sort of shock about what took place, what happened, we put, put the pieces together. Um, of course, as you can see, we still have no answer. It was just after 1 p.m. when a 911 caller told police that a blood covered woman was sprawled on the pavement here. And that's when responding officers found 48 year old Veronica Gonsalves dead from an apparent stab wound to the head. This was a savage, brutal, unprovoked attack. This woman did not deserve this. Nobody does. Indeed, it is a crime made even worse by who witnessed it. Family members say Gonzalez was just returning home from driving her daughter to work and had her two year old granddaughter along for the ride. It seems she was attacked uh, right inside of her car um, while her granddaughter was in the back seat. The child was not physically hurt, but likely saw her grandma murdered. Police combed the driveway for evidence all afternoon, saying early on they suspected it was someone she knew. This appears to have been a targeted attack and not a random act of violence. The family says Gonzalez, a native of Cape Verde, had not been in this country for that long, and they have no idea why anyone would want to kill her. Very uh, hard work, independent, uh, strong-minded woman. Um, you know, always look out for her kids. Again, 56-year-old Joao Correa is under arrest for this killing. An investigator tells me he is an ex-boyfriend. But the DA says that suspect is also in the hospital in critical condition, but they have not yet explained what put him there. Live in Brockton tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Ken, thank you.